Just going to look at the lineup of the uh, of the group up front. Aaron van Poker is the uh, uh, Belgian rider. Peloton been towed along, as you might expect by the Ineos Grenadiers squad. It's been a great couple of days uh, for Ethan Hayter. Cycle home from the shops, a cycle home from school or work up this hill every day. I think you'd be a pretty strong bike rider. Everyone out of the saddle. Inside half uh, one and a half minutes now, quite a bit inside one and a half minutes, isn't it? And we're on the, the flat roads approaching the climb. The riders in the breakaway group themselves already feel the gradient uh, starting to rise, as indeed it is down towards the back of that main peloton. And it looks as if, is it Lotte Sudal? A fancied an attack or two. And just not happy enough, really, that he's going to be able to hold them off and just hoping against hope that someone else chases. It looks like we've got a couple of riders forging ahead from that breakaway group. So it's a strong effort coming down on uh, just over 13 kilometers remaining. It's coming down to the business end of the final stage of Tour of Norway. UAE team Emirates have control at the front and they want to start firing riders off the front and Ethan Hayter is alive to the danger. Could this be that we've got uh, a surprise effort from the UAE team Emirates? Is that something that they need to control? Does Hayter need to think about? Sven Eric Bistrom within 41 seconds of his race lead. Up front, they're frantic to get over this hill before the arrival of the, uh, the riders behind, and they're coming with a charge, and there's not much room to make your way past, so that speculative effort off the front of the main peloton. Well, there's motorcycles in the way, understandably so, really, because that's a, it's a very narrow road. It's tough to get over. Points on offer there. That's not significant. Hayter is able to get himself onto the back of that one. Ineos Grenadiers that own the front of the peloton. Is that Ghana again? It looks like the large frame of Filippo Ghana in front of Ethan Hayter on the very front of the peloton. Mats Pedersen trying to uh, insinuate himself into the lead out of others as Alexander Kristoff moves up, perhaps senses the danger. You need to be closer into the final bend. Couple of left turns into the final 400 meters. Alexander Kristoff shoved out onto the runoff on the outside, but he's managed to maintain position. Niels Pollard is going to lead out into the run to the line. Bora Hansgrohe yeah. have control. You know X also. Here comes Alexander Kristoff. Has he got the legs for this one? I think he's going to be run out of it as they go to the line. And it's going to be more Hansgrohe. Here comes Jenison, but he's not going to get there in time. Pedersen as well, but no. No, the glory of the day goes to Bora Hansgrohe as they get the victory. And this is a big, big step up for him. Matt Walls is taking his first victory at that level. Ethan Hader's fellow countryman, is the overall winner of uh, Tour of Norway for 2021. He's converted. Um, Bora Hansgrohe, I think, will be absolutely thrilled with that. Niels Pollard with a superb lead out for the, uh, for the German registered team. And the two uh, British riders assemble. What well, a bit of a surprise result, but a very impressive one nonetheless. And Matt Walls, who is a great sprinter on the British scene, as I say, has uh, stepped up to the big show. Across the cobbles in the final 25 metres, and I suspect Walls thought he was looking a bit vulnerable, but... First year with the Bora Hansgrohe squad. And there you go, first win at pro level for Matt Walls. He gets the win ahead of Mads Pedersen, Daniel Hilgard, Mike Turnison, Tosh van der Sande, Alexander Kristoff, Niels Laubrugge, Marcus Hilgard, Nick van der Leijke, who's been up in this stage in the past. Matthew Walls, congratulations. How does it yes. feel to win your very first professional victory here at the Tour of Norway? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. You know, uh, I was at the Games a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, so, yeah, like, Obviously, it wasn't perfect preparation for this race, but no, yeah, it's mega to come away with a win. To gold on the track in, in Tokyo, uh, did you expect to kind of reach this level of form on the road so quickly afterwards? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't really know how I was going to go. Uh, so it's like sort of come in and, and see what we can do. Uh, and yeah, I came away with a win, which is pretty incredible. It worked out pretty well. Take us through the last kilometer. Uh, well, it was, uh, it was pretty hectic. Uh, and then I was basically just on Niels and he came, took me to the front and basically led me out for the past uh, the last couple of kilometers. And then, uh, yeah, came around him with a couple hundred meters to go. Uh, I managed to hold off the, the rise behind. Nice end to the race. Congratulations. Enjoy the win. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks.
A few prizes to present, few, some flowers to collect. Well, the points classification, we've had a change. Ethan Hayter was uh, out of it, not involved in that final sprint. Tunison gets up to deny Ethan Hayter the points classification, and I think that'll be uh, a reversal that Ethan Hayter can handle, and uh, Tunison will be delighted he's got something out of the week. A uh, couple of third-place finishes, top five on the final day. Hulgard as well, good effort from him, the local man. And this one was already decided before the start of the day. Anton Schaumig with the overall victory. Olaf uh, Hemsager moved up into second as a result of his efforts in the breakaway again today. And the best uh, young rider classification, Matthias Skelmusi Jensen gets the victory over Mark Donovan. Joshua Kench of New Zealand in third place. Tell us about these four days of racing in Norway. It's been um, really nice. The weather's been amazing. The views have been amazing and uh, I've had a great race. How does it feel to win the GC after tough battles yesterday and today as well? Yeah, this is my first um, GC win and uh, it definitely wasn't an easy one. The first two days, obviously, I got an advantage and then defending it yesterday was the hardest day of all of them. So. Uh, yeah, it's been not easy. Will it now be possible to invite you back to Tour of Norway, you think? I hope so, yeah. I really enjoyed it here, and we'll see what happens in the future. Good luck, and thank you, and congratulations again. Ethan Hayter, Chad Publico.